So we're going to go through word section two, exercise three. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to do a new attempt. I'm going to go ahead and launch. You're going to see a little file kind of drop down. Um, this works best if you are in the Chrome browser, so I highly recommend using Chrome. So you'll notice this kind of drops down and I can basically left click on it and that will launch Snap and it will open up the exercise. Now if I have anything open in Microsoft Office, it does close my files. So you wanna make sure when you come in here that you don't have anything else running. And we have five different steps. So the first one is telling us to select the entire document. You can go to select all, or you can press control in the letter A. And we're gonna change the spacing to one. And then we're gonna click on next. And then the four lines below, fast facts in the organ section, we need to decrease the indent and add bullets to them. We're gonna click on next. Uh, the four paragraphs below fast facts in, in Nevada, we basically need to do the same thing. Kind of losing my voice. Um, we're going to decrease the indent and we're going to add bullets. And then they want us to do a find and replace. Um, and this is going to be a formatting find and replace. Now I'm going to press control and home so that I'm at the top of the document because with find and replace and spell check, it always goes from the top down. And then I'm going to hit replace. And I do want my insertion mark in the find what box. I'm going to click on more because I need to do fonts, font formatting. So I'm going to click format and font. And what I am looking for is Calibri. So you can either scroll or kind of type it in. And we are looking for italic text that is 11 points. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that it put a Calibri 11 point in italic there. We are going to click in the replace box, go into format and font. And now we're going to tell it what to replace the formatting with. And we want the Corbell font. And we want bold italic and we want 12 point. So we're going to click OK. So you'll see underneath replace, it's got the formatting it's going to replace with. And then we just have to click on replace all. And you should get four replacements. I'm going to click OK and close. I'm going to click on next. And this brings me to the last task which sounds easy, but if you look, uh, we have some symbols, symbol characters that we have to add to this sentence. So I'm going to press Control and End, E-N-D, because that should take me to the bottom. And I'm going to key in this sentence, being very careful not to make typos. Because if you make typos or you forget punctuation, it'll mark it wrong. <clears throat> now I'm at the point where I need to put in this E. And so I'm going to go to insert and symbol. And this is how Snap wants you to do it. So they want you to insert it as you go or it, it will mark it wrong. Snap is kind of a fussy little thing. We need to find the E with an apostrophe above it. And my hardest thing with these is actually finding them. Should be in normal text. Now here's the uppercase E's, but that's not what we want. We want the lowercase ones, so here they are. This is the first one, so I'm going to insert that. I'm going to type the regular R. And then I'm going to insert the second one, which is this one. 
Okay, and then pipe the rest of this in. And I'm going to leave this little window open because I'm going to need to use it again. Then I'm going to move it over here. Now I just did one space after the period in case you're wondering. Put in a comma. All right, now for the N. I need the N with, it looks like a till leaf. Make sure it's not above. And sometimes these are really difficult to find. Here's the uppercase, it looks like. So let's see if we can find, here's the lowercase. I believe that is the symbol that they're looking for, I hope. So we're going to insert that. And then we're going to click here and finish this off. Okay, so at this point, even though it's flagging that word as misspelled, it is not. We're going to go ahead and check the answer. So hopefully it comes back and indicates that it is correct. Okay, and you'll see you got 10 out of 10. Uh, you only need to get to 80% on these. So even if you get one wrong, you definitely want to check, go into grades and check your percentage because if you're at 80%, you do not need to do it again. 